Wonderful. Great to see you all. And so I'm lying here. I'm just checking. Can I be heard? Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Any problem? Let me know. Close your eyes. And drop it. Feel your shoulders relax. And become aware of the natural curve of your spine to so the back of your shins touching the floor. Just check on that long second. And so feel the back of your legs and feel your sacral area and then a natural curve, lower back, lift it off the floor. And notice as you breathe, you can feel the back of your ribs, the back of your lungs pressing the floor. And then exercise you lift your back of your neck muscles and lift your head and draw the chin in a little bit. Shoulders wide. And nice bend your knees. And let's do a little bit of pelvic tilting here. So arch and then in front. And arch and in front. And here you just really want to get your awareness, your attention, feeling your body and noticing the movement. Inhaling arch, and as you exhale, imprinting, squeeze the floor, scoop your abdominals, feel the ribs drawing towards the chest. So feel that core activation. Let's go all the way up into a bridge. So inhaling arch, then exhale imprint, tuck the tailbone under and roll all the way. As you inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. And then as you exhale, rolling all the way down. Inhale, arms back to the side. And then exhale, rolling up. Exhale through the mat, scoop your abdominals, squeeze the glutes, scoop the navel. Inhale, arms overhead, and exhale, and roll them down. Inhale, arms to the sides, and exhale, and roll them up. And let's stay up here. Very carefully press into your left foot, and let the right leg come up the table top. Press the right leg down, and then let the left leg come up. So really focusing on the stabilizers. So stability in the pelvis, the activation of the outer hips, the glutes, scoop the navel, lift the hips a little higher, marching from side to side. And feel that my strong stability when the leg stands down, that standing leg engages, activates, and takes responsibility for the stabilizing. And then the other leg becomes light and just floats. That's it. Very nice. And now both legs down and slowly roll them all the way down. Excellent. Legs along, reach the arms overhead. And then inhale, look to your toes. As you exhale, scoop navel and roll it all the way up. And then inhale, come into your center place. You're now arching around it. Shoulders away from the ears, collarbones wide. So we're going to inhale. And as you exhale, sleeper. So draw the lower arms in and around and just come halfway back. And then I want you to inhale back up to your center. And as you exhale, you're going to arch the back, lift the chin. Inhale back to center. Exhale, sleeper. 
Inhale, shoulders lean, come back to center. And then exhale, arch. So tailbone goes back, shoulders go back, chin lifts. Two more, inhale to center. Feel nice and steady. And as you exhale, you have scoop the lower abs and round halfway back. Really nice. Inhale, come to center. And then exhale, arch. Lift the chest. Look up. Last one. Inhale to center. Exhale, scoop. Come back into C curve. Inhale to center. And then exhale, arch. Very nice. Inhale to center. And now as you exhale, seek out back at the same time, the left arm comes out to the side. Right arm keeps reaching forward. Inhale, back up to center. And feel it very straight. And then exhale, seek out. And then the right arm goes out to the side. As you inhale, the right arm comes back in. Come back up to center. Let's keep going. Exhale, C curve and left arm out to the side like a swoop. That's it. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, C curve and right arm. And what can be nice, inhale, coming back up, is to follow the arm with your eyeballs. So as you exhale, follow the arm looking at it as it sweeps. Inhale, back up to center. And then exhale. Inhale, back up. Let's do two more each side. So we'll be warming up the spine here, activating the core. That's it. And feel like this is rhythmic, sequential movement. Feel a smoothness to it, a flow even. One more each side, one around. Scoop the navel, scoop your abdominals. Inhale, back up. And then exhale. Really nice. Now stay in your seat curve. And I want you to bring your forearms down. Really nice. And then as one arm comes up, and then bring the, the other arm comes up. And breathe that. Now we really strong core activation. Pelvic floor lifts up one arm. And then the other arm. There's two. We're going to go five each side. So one arm. And the other one, three. Scoop the navel, one arm. And then the other one is four. And one arm, flex the feet, squeeze the thighs. And the other arm, now do both arms. Inhale, both arms. Exhale, back down. And two. Inhale. And three. Inhale. And four. Really great, strong work here. Inhale. And five. Inhale. And six. Inhale. And seven, inhale, and eight, scoop, inhale, and nine, and inhale, and ten. Leave your hands down, draw your left knee in, and then bring your left knee across, and twist, and then extend it long. And now bring your right knee in, and bring your right leg across. Really nice. Let's go one more each side. So left knee in. And left leg across. Really nice. And then right leg in and right leg across. Really nice. Okay, so back here, forearms are down, feet are flexed. You're going to lift both arms and we're going to hold. So take an inhale, exhale, engage, and reach your arms forward. And two, and three. Shoulders away from the ears, four. And five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Slowly rolling all the way down, reach the arms overhead. Let's do a couple of roll ups. Inhale, lift your toes, and then use the elbows, and straight out, exhale, rolling up. And now reach forward, stay here, point the toes. As you reach, draw the navel back. So two actions happening at the same time, just drawing back as you reach forward. And then take an inhale, and then exhale, roll down. Inhale up to your toes, reach your arms. Exhale, rolling up. And now stay here, flex, point the feet. Reach, 
the arms forward and draw the ribs in the navel back. Very nice. Inhale, exhale, rolling down. Lovely. Inhale, lift your toes, exhale, rolling down. Lovely. Okay, so let's come into a seat card again. So exhale, rolling, and come into your seat card. Very nice. So now we're going to bring both arms to the left. I'm going to lift the left leg. Inhale to center, and then exhale, right arm. Arms to the right, right leg comes up. And exhale, we go side to side. And exhale, there's two. And exhale, three. So the right leg comes up, both arms go to the right. Left leg comes up, both legs come to the left. Four. Four. And five. Good job. And five. And you decide how low to the ground suits you, right? You might want to be too low if it's hit your back. Six. And six. And seven. And seven. Eight. And eight. And nine. And nine. And ten. You got it. And ten and roll all the way down. Great. Let me get back to the timer. Stretch your arms overhead. Very nice. Okay. Okay, so each exercise is going to be for one minute, and then we'll have a five-second break in between. And if that's too long, no problem. What you do in that case is you just go for it shorter. So I'll tell you when it's 40 seconds. So you can stop at 40 seconds and take a 20 second break and then come back into the next one. We'll 14 of them and strong core. Okay, so the first one is going to be um, rolling these in as you inhale and then as you exhale, extend. Okay, so inhale and exhale. Now, if it feels like too much, make the movement much smaller. Inhale, and then much smaller, so don't go back as far. Yeah, inhale, exhale. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, make sure your navel is drawing in, so really protecting your back muscles. So there's a 15 minute sequence. Fantastic sequence if you decided to take it on to do it every day for a little while. So now if you want to take a break here, we've done 40 seconds. Take a 20 second break before we come into the next one. Okay. Otherwise. And finished. Okay, so the next one is called rowing boat. So legs are going to lift up, and then you're going to bring both arms to one side, and then both arms to the other. So almost like you're rowing boat. You have to have to be together. So going from one side to the other. Modifications, right? Put your feet down, no problem. Okay. If you can lift your feet, lift your feet. And again, I'll tell you when we're 40 seconds in. So you can take a break for 20 seconds before we come into the next one. That's it. We'll be activating the obliques sideways here. We go from side to side, like a roaring boat. Mm, there we have 40 seconds done. So a good time now to take the rest if you want to do a 40 20 instead of a 60 second on with no break. Just five seconds left. Really nice. Bring the soles of your feet together and then slowly rolling back. Hands behind your head, take an inhale and exhale, sit. And continue just like that. Inhale and down, exhale, sit up. Put the soles of your feet together, the knees up wide. As you exhale, coming up. When you think of the abdominals lifting you, the spine is lengthening and your head pushes into your hands. Okay. 
and squeeze it, squeeze pelvic floor, scoop me. And now you're at 40 seconds. So if you want to take your rest here for 20 seconds before we do the next one. And there we are. So now right knee, right ankle rests on the left knee and the left arm reaches. No, no, sorry, right arm reaches. So as you exhale, left elbow to right arm. And the right arm is floating and reaching. So like you're trying to reach with that right arm as well as bringing the left elbow to the right knee. And as always, Think of the precision of the movement more than pushing out a ton of reps. And so really scoop as you exhale, try to get the shoulders lifted, really reaching that right arm. And you're 40 seconds in, so now's a good time to take a rest. If you want to take a 20 second break. Ready? And we're going to go straight to the other side. So right hand behind your head, left ankle on your right knee, and off we go. And really reach in that left arm. Good job. You know you're there at the 40 second mark. And so we're at the 40 second mark. So if you want to stop here, take a 20 second break before we come back into it, the next one. Good job. Reach that back down. Scoop. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Okay. Double legs. Hands underneath your hips. Legs are long. Inhale, legs up, and exhale, legs down. And so please, very mindful here, you might bring your legs just halfway. That might suit your body better, especially if you feel your back lifting when you bring your legs all the way down. Sides of the waist going down. Lower leg is wonderful for the lower abdominals. Fantastic for also stimulating all the activity in the lower abdominal area. One more, five seconds left to take your break. Otherwise, we're doing a second variation. So, second variation. Inhale up, exhale down, and then split the leg, bring them back together. Inhale up, exhale down, legs wide, back together. That's it. And remember again, you find the angle that works for you. So it might be to go halfway, and then legs wide, and back together. So legs come up as you inhale, down as you exhale, and open up. So at the 40 second mark, now's a good time to take that 20 second break if you need to, no problem. We really is cumulative. Burn says to really set in. Okay, so we have a third version to come. So that one's finished. The next one is 
Inhale up and then lift the hips off the floor and then exhale down and spread the legs, spread the legs. Inhale up, lift the legs high. So lifting the hips up off the floor and then doing the splits. That's it. Wonderful. Great work. So we're at the 40 second mark. So take a break here. But keep going, taking no break in between. And so listen to your body. Three, two, one. Great. So coming up. Hands, elbows down, or resting on your hands, or you can make flutter kicks. So kicking the legs, hand breathing. Good job, so we're at number nine. Five to go. That's it. That's it, you got it. Kick, kick. Cool. So we're at the 40 second mark. Now's a good time. Take a break before we come into the next one or keep going if you're not taking a break. And you could take a break here and there. Let's take it every time. See what suits. Here we go, five seconds. Oh, lovely. Rest down. And so you know these heel taps. Bring your feet not too close to the hips and then reach towards your heel and other side. And off you go. And of course, right? Neck is sore. Put your hands behind your head and reach with your elbows. Really great. This is number 10, you only four left. That's it, we're at the 40 second mark. So no problem, take a break here and get ready for the next one or keep going. That's it, two, one, and rest down. So the next one we're gonna do, legs are straight up, and we lift our head and shoulders, and we're reaching towards the opposite toe, and the head and shoulders, they lift it the whole time, and we really, really. That's it. And yes, this is a tiny bend of my elbow knees, and that really is helpful, otherwise they're totally inaccessible. <laughs> so, oh, and reach. That's it. Oh. Great job with the 40 second mark. So take a rest or oh, keep going. <sighs> Last week we did a lot of work in the prone position, working with spinal muscle, lower back, back body, and rest down. Bicycle punches, hand behind the head, legs up. And so as you exhale, extend. And at the center, exhale, extend. And so this morning, this week, much more focused. Abdominals, and then we did a bunch of side series. High knees, outer hip, knee stuff. A little bit of curls, great balance after all your downward work, but not as much as we did last week. And focus on that extension. So as you're ex exhaling, extend that leg. 20 
seconds left, so take a break. If you're doing a 40 20, the 60 on with five seconds interval is very strong. And so definitely listen to your body. Lovely. Okay, let's come around onto our belly and come into a forearm plank. So forearms down, legs long, and we're going to rotate. So both heels go to one side and then come back to center. Exhale, rotate both heels to one side, inhale, center. Keep your arm and navel in. Push into the forearm. And always I find forearm plank is tempting to look down. So keep the chin lifted and look where your hands are. In center, exhaling both heels to one side. There we are, 40 seconds done. So take your break. You're on 40 20. Last three, two, one. Last exercise. So go into a plank. We're going to do mountain climbing. So we'll do. 30 seconds right knee to elbow. So left knee to left elbow, right knee to right elbow. And then for the last 30 seconds, we're going to rotate. So right knee to left elbow, left knee to right. Oh, oh great job, guys. <sighs> Try if you can, have knee in contact with elbow. And now we'll go to alternating. So right knee to left elbow, left knee to right. In the last 30 seconds, we got this. Oh, that's it. That's 15 seconds. Five, four, two, one, oh, come down onto your belly and make a little pillow with your hands and wag with your hips. Oh. Well done, <laughs> great job. Let's come up into a high cobra just to stretch out those abs. So, um, spider fingers out to the sides, inhale, lift up, exhale, coming down. Let's do three more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Steady your breath. Exhale down. And last one. Exhale down. So now hands beneath your shoulders. And inhale, come to regular cobra. And now as you exhale, Lift your hands and float them. And then reach the arms back to the sides. Bring the hands to the floor and lift them up for one. And two. Pubic bone down. And three. And four. For now, the feet are pressing into the floor. Five. Knees are lifted. Six. And seven. Eight. Nine, ten, and come all the way down. Turn your cheek to one side. So nice, great balance where you do abdominal work. And then turn your face to the right. And then you come onto your belly, be prone. It has a lovely balance and effect on the body. So now let's inhale, lift up. And we lift the legs and the arms this time. And then reach the arms back, palms down. Inhale, tap the hands to the floor, and exhale, lift for one, two, and three, four, five, and six. You can even lift the legs a bit higher. In turn, we rotate, so inner thighs towards the ceiling, eight, lift the chest, nine, and ten, and come all the way down. 
Mm -hmm. So it will be x and i. So we we'll start with an i. So legs are together, arms reaching forward, and inhale, lift the chest and lift the legs, feet going down. As you exhale, open up to an x, so the legs spread and the arms open out. Bring your body all down. Inhale up into your X. Exhale into your I. And come down. Inhale I. Exhale X. And come down. Inhale X. In exhale I. Coming all the way down. Inhale I. Exhale X. Coming all the way down. Two more. Inhale X. X. Exhale I. Coming all the way down. Two more. Inhale I. Exhale X. Coming all the way down. Keep it going down. Navel to spine. Last one. Inhale X. Exhale I. Coming all the way down. down. Really nice. Hands with your shoulders. Push it back into child's pose. And we reach the arms. Stretching out the lower back. Deep breaths. Relax. So now let's come onto all fours. Knees are beneath your hips and the hands just a little bit above the shoulder, in front of the shoulders, and then hover your knees. And that really actively draw the lower abs in. That's it. We're going to tap our knees. So the right hand taps the left knee and then all two. Two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. Really scoop. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay, super. Lift the right leg. Turn around behind you. So now you turn around into a reverse table. So we have two options. One, both hands are down, or the other one hand. Okay, so either the left hand is down, that feels like too much, have both hands down. Okay, I'm going to lift up and come down to the floor, and then we lift up two and three. So both hands, four and five. Okay, or else one, six. Seven, that's it. Eight, nine, and ten. Come back around, hovering. Mm. So this time we're going to shoulder pads. So right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right shoulder. One, two, and three, and four. Lower abs lift, five, six, and seven. That's it, just an inch off the foot, eight, nine, and ten. Other leg, so left leg now goes around. So I want one hand or both hands to lift up, and then tip down one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Coming back around. Great job. Pop the knees down and press back into the child's pose. Really nice. So come around into high knees. So let's start sitting on our lower knees and let's do a little bit of neck rolls. So pop the neck and then very slowly roll the neck in one direction. And now switch direction. Very nice turn to look over one shoulder and then the other shoulder at the center, one ear to the shoulder, one ear to the other shoulder. Very nice. Okay, so let's go from behind knees. 
And so you know, with high knees, alignment is important. So your foot, your knee and your hand in one line, hand, shoulder, and then top shoulder. So your hand can rest on your shoulder or on your waist. And here, make sure to activate. So pelvic flow up, navel to spine, ribs are in, and shoulder to wide, chest is open. Really nice, excellent. Let's lift up and down. So we're in parallel alignment. Toes are facing forward too. Check your abs, three and four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's stay up, point the toes and circles. One, two, three, really focus here. Four, try not to move in the whole torso. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and other directions. It's much harder when they really stabilize the core. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Excellent. Hand on your head, elbow to knee, and then extend. One, elbow to knee, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, nine, and 10. One more here, tap the toe, and then extend, and touch the toe, two, and three, and four, and five, out, out, six, you got it, and seven, eight, Nine and ten. Oh my lord. Let's get the fist right in there. Like the tens machine. Disperse the heat sensations. Really nice. Let's go to the other side. So knee, hand, and foot in a land. Really nice. And then check nailing, chest nice and open, shoulders wide. And we're going to go in parallel alignment, so leg up and down. And oh my god, it's so strange. We have side two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stay up, point the toes and circles. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other direction. One, two, three. Can you keep your leg high? Four, five, six. Everything engaged. Seven, eight, ten. Elbow in and extend. One, and two. It's easier if we go quick. <laughs> well, I can't tell. And four, so sore. Five, and six, and seven, eight, nine, and ten. Off your toes. One, and two, three, four, and five. We're nearly there. Six. This helped to know all the pain. Seven, eight, nine. And ten. Oh my lord. Oh, it was a fist in. We'll do some stretching here before we go any further. So, mermaid stretch. I've done this in a little while. It's such a great one. So, one knee bent 90 degree either forward, and the knee 90 degree under the back. Inhale to the center. And as you exhale, reach in one direction. We have to center, exhale, reach in the other direction. And exhale. And exhale. Last one. So let's hold. So hold the one. 
we can't go as far. So towards the back leg. Stretch. Really nice. Explore the other side. So just switch the legs. That's it. Arms out, inhale and And let's hold. So hold when we can't go as far and reach. And breathe. Close your eyes and just feel the stretch. Lovely. So let's come into the side series. Before we come to standing. So lying on our side, head is resting in the hand. So we start bottom leg right bent and top leg is long and so first we'll come up in parallel alignment so let's start by organizing the toes up and the spine with the shoulders away from the ears and as you inhale lift the legs straight up toes are facing forward exhale down now i want you to externally rotate so the toes face the ceiling and come up you're going to get higher and come down so we're going to continue to alternate we rotate every time so parallel alignment Come up and down, externally rotate. Come up and down, there's two parallel. Up and down, externally rotate. Up and down, three parallel. Four externally and four parallel. Five, navel to spine, external rotation. And five, parallel. And six, externally rotate. And six, parallel. Seven, externally rotate. And seven, parallel. Eight, externally rotate. Eight, and you can feel how you're working different muscles in the parallel nine, and then the externally rotating nine, parallel ten and externally rotate, and 10. Perfect, so both legs are long now. Have a look down, make sure you've got a nice alignment. And it's always good to set yourself up properly, make sure you're not falling back, that you're sitting right onto the bones, make sure the bottom waist is lifted. So we're gonna lift both legs at the same time. So lift up, and down one, and two. And three, maybe we we'll try challenge. I think I'm gonna walk like you tonight. Um, four, maybe hover, maybe one finger. Five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten. So you put arm down to the right, the bottom arm is down, and now your elbow to your your hand to your head. Elbow towards your hip, one, and two. And think of lifting more than pushing, three. Navel to spine, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we'll do both. If you want, you can bring both hands to your head, and legs and arms lift, and bring it down down. And lift one, two. So legs lift and arm goes to the elbow goes to the shoulder to the hip. Three, four, and five. Really squeeze. Exhale. Six, seven. Navel to spine. Eight, nine, ten. Let's stay from pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, and down. Excellent. Come out to your back. And let's just lift up into a bridge. And let's just do a little bit of movement. So, like you're dropping sand out of your back pocket, drop your left and back pocket, then your right, lift your left, lift your right. 
left down, right down, left up, right up. And now all the other direction, right down, left down, right up, left up, right down, left down, right up, and left up. Really nice. Coming all the way down, let's go to the side. So, lying on your side, and let's start. Head resting in the hand, bottom knee is bent, nice to be angry. Top leg is long. I'm going to start with parallel lines, lift the legs straight up, coming down, and now externally rotate, going up and down. Parallel lines, two. And then externally rotate, and two. Check bottom waist, lifted, three. Externally rotate, and three. Parallel, four. Extend your toes and four. Excellent. Parallel five. Extend your rotate and five. Parallel and six. Extend your rotate and six. Parallel seven. Check everything's engaged and seven. Parallel eight. Extend your rotate eight. Parallel nine. And externally rotate it nine. Parallel and ten. Externally rotate it ten. Excellent. Both legs long. Have a look down, heel over heel, knee over knee, hip over hip, and um, both hips back. Lower waist lifted, and then as you exhale, have your hand, arm down or your hand, head resting in your hand, and lift both legs long. And two. Maybe just a finger, three and four. Five. Exhale, six. Check everything's active. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lovely. Bottom arm comes down, drop hand to your head. And exhale, one. We feel those obliques working. Two. So don't push on the hand so much as lifting three. Squeeze four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's combine one and two and three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Let's stay up and pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Lie down your back and then the other leg, meet your arms, forehead to the ground. One leg stretch it out. Okay. I'm going to do some of those. Lovely plank variations we did last week and we're diving into some lunges. So coming on to all fours and let's step into a plank. So remember plank, you can have your knees down, problem at all, right? So knees down and plank, where your knees are lifted and walk your hands back into a down dog and as you do that, lift one leg up. And then walk your hands back as the leg comes down. So, of course, the knees can come down here. Okay. And now we'll go to the other side. So, walk your hands back, push into your down dog, one leg up. And then walk your hands back. And again, knees down, the knees lifted, back into your plank. Let's go two more each side. So, walk back, and the leg comes up. And then walk back into your plank. And then walk back, other leg comes up. And walk back into plank. And one more. Walk back, leg comes up. And walk back into plank. And then walk back into down dog, leg comes up. And now let's bring the leg down into down dog. So bend your knees and then straighten your legs, push into your hands. Come up onto your tippy toes, 
push back into your heels. Let's do four more of those. Inhale to the toes. Exhale, heels. And three. Two more. And four. Last one. And five. Yes. So now both knees up to the floor, hands up to the floor. And activate, so lower out to lift, push it into the floor. And then very carefully, left leg, you know, push into your right knee, left leg extends straight back. Push into the left hand, the right arm extends. Inhale here, exhale. Tap the foot and the hand to the floor. Sorry, that's your inhale. Put the hand on the foot on the floor, and as you exhale, extend one. Tap to the floor, lift up two. Lower abs really dry up here. Three. Back is not an option. And four. And five. And six. Really staying steady. Seven. Cup of tea on your lower back. Eight, not moving there. Nine and ten. Hands down, tuck. And we're going to come into a squat. So you can half the feet into a squat. I'm going to post ten. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming up to stand. Right foot steps back. And in prayer, get it into place and bring one leg down to one. And two, three, and four. And then we stand up on the standing leg and come into a hovering, um, like a warrior three in yoga, three mats. And then step that right leg back. We'll go again. So one and two. And three and four, and then arms reach back, stand on that left leg, right leg extends, lifting the chest, activating your back muscles. Be nice, step that right leg back. Two more rounds one and two, three and four, and stand up, stand on that standing leg, strong. Leg back. And last one. And one. And two. And three. And four. So last a few times. And standing. Really feel that standing leg. You feel the outer hip, the glutes really working. And now activate the spine, lift the chest. Very nice. Now four lunges again. We'll do a kick this time one. Two, three, four, and then we kick. And leg goes back. One, and two, three, and four. Big kick. Two more. One, and two, three, and four. Big kick. Last one. One, and two. Three and four. Big kick. Legs wide, back into a squat. And ten, nine. Push into the heels, lift the chest. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back onto all fours. Super. Other side. So stabilize. Send your right arm. Left arm extends. Tap the to the floor, inhale, exhale up one, and two, and three. Feel the length of the spine, four, navel in, ribs in, five, spinal muscles after six. So this is very similar, seven, to when we're standing on that leg, eight, nine, and ten. Really nice, tuck the toes, hop into a squat. And ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, 
Then come up to stand. Left foot steps back. Let's do our four lunges. One, two, three, four. And come standing on that right leg. Arms reach back, chest lifts. And then carefully with control, step back and four again. One, two, three, four. Great work, we're nearly there. And balance. Lift the chest, strong in the back. Remember that teeth up in the lower back. Lovely, two more. So one, two, three, four, and lift up. Mm. Arms reaching back, chest lifted, strong in your standing leg. Internally, we'll take the thighs to the toes, the knee, the hip, or face the floor. Last one. And one, two, three, and four, and lift up. Mm. That's it, hold, hold. Lovely. Now let's come back. Four more. One, two, three, four, and big kick. One, two, three, four, and big kick. Two more. One, two, three, four, big kick. Last one. One, two, three, four, and big kick. Last round of squats. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. And coming up. Very nice. Well done, everyone. Great job. So let's just stretch it out a bit. So a really nice one is to come into a squat with your hands down. Remembering one knee to the floor and then the other one. So nice rotation into the hip. But just supporting with your hands on the floor. Nice. Any variation that suits, right? So really nice. And another really nice one, Spider-Man stretch. So bend one knee and your leg is straight, heels going up. And the twist here is always really nice. So elbow inside, that left knee, and the other arm reaches up. And have it that you're going to the other side, the stretches feel a bit luxurious. So find the version that's not straining, it just feels a little bit like. Oh, this is nice. And so you can be high up, excluding that twist, whatever works in your body. Mm. Really nice. And my legs really wide and full. And breathe. And then here, just bend and straighten. So bend one knee to the other one. Bring nice heel toe your feet together. And then fold so your feet are now about hip distance apart and fold so you can really feel the hamstrings now stretching. Or maybe you can really feel that area of the hamstring beneath the glute the attachment as you're stretching. Really nice. Straighten your knees, bend your knees. And now carefully roll it up. Take your time, roll it. And let's exhale, roll it down again. Inhale, roll it down, exhale, roll it. Just do a few more like that, the fluid just moving. 
And then next time you up, just do three movements in the heart. Exhale, release. Remember, tailbone back and then tailbone back. Close your eyes. Just feel like it's almost like a swimming action. Just mobilizing, moving. I'm sure all the strength will keep it tonight. And also, we're in that sicker for a bit, so that articulation as well. We have center and then slide to one side. We have center and then slide. And that's the center and we rotate. And we rotate. And the center always holds from where the feet hinge. Tilt your weight towards the front of your toes. Become aware of your plumb line and then tilt towards the heels. Go to one side and go to the other. Just noticing your balance and how much your whole body is involved. So now standing, become aware of your feet being very stable on the floor and your ankles. Then your hips directly above your ankles, your shoulders above your hips, above your curved spine, going from the tailbone to the crown of your head, collarbones wide. And just tune in and notice that feeling through your body, activation. Don't move for a second. And you can I just want to try to catch everyone's name to send out the recordings. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha.